Yeah. Essentially, I was uh, in a park drinking, uh, doing my normal routine, and this guy tapped me on the shoulder and says, do you want to get sober? It was that tap on the shoulder that saved Michael Gosling's life. He'd been living on the streets for five years until an encounter one night with the Union Gospel Mission's mobile rescue unit. This vehicle gets an opportunity to go to places where the people can't come to us. And so for me to be able to get on the vehicle and go out there, I can relate to the situation that they're in. And I'm more, much more comfortable being around people in their own environments. They're in parks, under bridges, in concealed alleyways, um, people who are on the margins. And a lot of the time, they're not prepared for the cold weather when it hits. Passing out things like sleeping bags, heat reflective tarps, survival uh, gear, um, toques, um, meals, those types of things, and connecting with people who are in a rough spot. For the first time ever, the Union Gospel Mission is heading out five days a week. People living in makeshift structures are in huge need of survival gear if they refuse to take shelter this winter. And with the cold weather just around the corner, that could be the difference between life and death for a lot of people. So we're seeing up to 130 people every week that we're serving on the mobile mission, and we're passing out, you know, 30 items plus of survival gear. The rescue unit is also traveling beyond Vancouver into the suburbs, sometimes even as far out as Langley. It relies on donations, though, to keep up with the increasing demand. This, particularly, if it hadn't come along when it did, I probably wouldn't have been around here to do the, this interview or do this service at all today. I, I expected not to be alive by this point in time, so it basically saved my life. In Vancouver, Andrea McPherson, City News.